El Cantare in his youth. Let's do our best like El Cantare in his youth. On July 7, 1956, Master Ryuho Okawa was born in Tokushima Prefecture in Japan. His father and mother believed in God and told him a lot about God. So Master Okawa grew up to be a child who believed in God and the other world. He read a lot of books. When he was little, he would read difficult books that adults would read. He was thinking, there are many things I don't know yet, but I'm going to study hard and become a good person. So he did his best. When he was a child, he went fishing with his father and played a lot with his friends outside. His mother was a hairdresser, and he helped her a lot as well. Master Ryuho Okawa studied very hard, did his chores, and was an energetic boy who played a lot outside. From around the age of nine, his father taught him religious teachings, such as the Christian Bible and the Gateless Barrier, a collection of Zen koans. His father had a lot of passion for studying, so he taught young master Ryuho Okawa difficult teachings with easy-to-understand words. Every time Master Okawa learned the biographies of great figures in history, he decided to try his best to learn a lot and to live a life for others after turning 30 years old. When he was 10 years old, every night after dinner, he would walk over to an outbuilding a few minutes away from his home to study. The outbuilding was very old, and the walls were all worn out. In the winter, freezing cold wind would blow in, so his body shivered, his hands were numb, and he couldn't hold his pencil very well. So, before going to the outbuilding, he would wear thick jumpers, a warm hat, gloves, and a mask. He walked in the dark night. It was scary to walk alone, but he was thinking, I am an adventurer, and went to the outbuilding to study every night. Inside the building, he climbed the steep, dark stairs to the second floor. Then, turn the lights on. After the room lit up, he could see a large desk in front of him. It was an important study desk that his father bought. He was studying and thinking about various things every day until midnight. By the time he was 10 years old, Master Ryuho Okawa had already started the habit of thinking alone. He was very happy to think and study by himself every day. He loved the feeling that he was working hard towards something special. He grew his patience, concentration, and the power to control himself by studying hard even in the cold winter, and not playing with his friends, although he wanted to.
Also, Master Ryuho Okawa felt the presence of God when he was studying hard. He continued his studies by encouraging himself, and at the entrance exam of junior high school, he got a perfect score on all subjects and entered with the highest grade. While he was in middle school, his grades were always number one. But he didn't just study. He was a captain in the tennis club. And when he became a high school student, he joined the kendo club. He became a fine young man by training his mind and body. Then, he went to the best university in Japan. He was thinking, I will become the best wise man in Japan. He continued to study very hard. Lord El Kantare, Master Ryuho Okawa, has been studying and working hard ever since he was a little child. The power to make everyone in the world happy comes from his effort and discipline. Now, he is still working hard to make everyone happy. Let's say thank you for his love and teachings. Let's do our best, like El Cantari in his youth.